Hi children, welcome to A plus learning. Today we will be doing a portion from the chapter measurements and units. You know children, there are certain rules to be followed while writing the units. So let's see what are these rules. Come on children, let us learn the rules of writing these units. The first rule states that the symbols of units are normally written using small letters in English alphabet. A few examples I have taken that is meter. While writing meter, we write the small letter M. Whereas for writing second, it is a small letter S and kg, both k and g are written in small letters, kg for kilogram. Children, but there are certain occasions on which capital letters of English alphabet are used as symbols. And this is written when the units are named after persons. Now here I have taken the example of potential difference. Potential difference unit we have volt and the symbol is V. Here V is written in capital letter. This unit is named after the famous Italian physicist Alessandro Volta. The next example I have taken force. The physical quantity is force and the unit is Newton unit of forces Newton and the symbol is written in capital N. This is just because this unit is named after the famous scientist Sir Isaac Newton. Now let's see the next rule. While writing the names of units never use capital letters. Here Kelvin is the example which I have taken and just observe both the ways how it is written. The first form here we have K as a small letter and the second form we have K as a capital letter. So in the rule it is stated that while writing the names of units never use capital letters. So children just observe it carefully and see this is the second form which is written over here. This is not the correct way of representing it. The correct form of writing Kelvin is K with a small letter at the starting. The next rule, we have never used the plural form for symbols. Children, let it be any numbers. Let it be 100, 200, 10. Whatever the numbers are, always the symbols are to be written using the singular form. That is 10 kg, 100 kg, 200 kg. Only the singular form. Never use the plural form. So 10 kgs is not the correct way of representing it. And the next rule, while writing units along with the value, there must be a single space between them. Just observe the two examples. Here I have written 273k. Here between the number and the alphabet, there is a single space left. This is the correct form of representing it. Whereas in the second form, I have not left the space. There is no space left between the number and the alphabet. So this is not the correct form. That means while writing units along with a value, there must be a single space between them. Next is never use full stop or comma after a symbol except at the end of the sentence. Here I have taken 75 centimeter as example. 75 centimeter is a length of the table. So just observe it carefully children. Here the full stop is put after the sentence. That means at the end of the sentence. And here the second statement it is 75 centimeter and then the full stop is put. This is an incorrect way of representing it. 75 centimeter is the length of the table. The full stop should be at the end of the sentence. This is the correct form of representing it. Now the next two. Here it says that when a derived unit is expressed as the product of other units, use a dot or a space between them. Example is Newton meter. We have a derived unit as a product of other units. So between two alphabet there should be either a dot or a space left. And the next rule we have, do not mix the name of a unit with symbol. 
that means a unit and a symbol should not be mixed so here i have the example kg per meter cube kg per meter cube this the first form is the correct way of representing it whereas kilogram when it is written as a unit and a symbol here the unit and the symbol both are mixed this is not the correct way of representing it children next rule we have while writing derived units a slash is used to denote division we all know that while using your laptop or computer we use a slash instead of division here to the same method we have to use that is use a slash to denote division here i have taken meter per second square as an example meter slash and then the second square is written please notice that never use more than one slash in one derived unit in the second form i have written meter slash second slash second that means more than one slash is used in a derived unit this is not the correct way of representing it the correct form of writing is meter per second square that means only one slash in one derived unit and the next tool we have never use more than one unit to express a physical quantity now i have taken the example of 10 meter and 25 cm but when you are writing it it should be 10.25 meter this is the correct form please never write 10 meter and then 25 cm only one unit is used to express a physical quantity here we have two units meter and then the cm so two units are not used to express one quantity this is not the correct form the correct form is 10.25 meter now let's have a quick recap rule 1 the symbols of units are written in small letters rule 2 but there are certain occasions where capital letters are used rule 3 can you guess children yeah while writing the names of units never use capital letters the next rule rule 4 never use the plural form for symbols yes children guess the next rule fast yes rule 5 while writing units along with the value there must be a single space between them the next rule the sixth rule never use full stop or comma after a symbol exit at the end of the sentence rule 7 while writing derived units a slash is used to denote division but never use more than one slash in one derived unit rule 8 when a unit is expressed as a product of other units use a dot or space between them the ninth rule do not mix the name of a unit with symbol and the tenth rule is never use more than one unit to express a physical quantity children don't you think writing the units is very easy when you know the rules children Hope you all have learned the rules for writing the units. Catch up with my next video.